How Lewis Hamilton knew it was Max Verstappen involved in Mexico GP incidents. Lewis Hamilton has revealed that he instinctively knew Max Verstappen had sparked controversy during the Mexican Grand Prix when the Mercedes driver saw a plume of dust ahead of him on track. Verstappen was hit with two separate 10 second penalties for incidents with McLaren's Lando Norris during the race in Mexico City, with the Red Bull driver's conduct in wheel to wheel battle coming under scrutiny. Lewis Hamilton knew it was Max Verstappen at center of Mexican GP controversy. The first incident on lap 10 saw Verstappen edge Norris off the circuit as the McLaren driver tried to pass him around the outside of turn 4. The second came just a few corners later, when Verstappen launched an aggressive move down Norris's inside at the fast turn 7, with both drivers taking to the runoff area and the Red Bull rejoining ahead. Verstappen was forced to sit stationary for 20 seconds during his pit stop and ultimately came home sixth, his joint worst classified result of the F1 2024 season. Norris, meanwhile, finished second to the race-winning Ferrari of Carlos Sainz, reducing Verstappen's world championship lead to 47 points with four rounds remaining. Hamilton, who came home fourth after prevailing in a battle with Mercedes teammate George Russell, was embroiled in a series of on-track clashes with Verstappen over the course of their F1 2021 title battle. That season saw the pair collide dramatically on the opening lap of the British Grand Prix at Silverstone, an incident which resulted in Verstappen being taken to hospital for precautionary checks, before they came to blows later that season at Monza, where Verstappen's car ended up mounting Hamilton's Mercedes following a touch at the first chicane. Verstappen's driving was also criticised after the late-season races in Brazil, where he was accused of running Hamilton off the road, and Saudi Arabia, where he was found by the FIA stewards to have braked suddenly and significantly, while duelling over the lead with the Mercedes driver. Verstappen was ultimately crowned world champion for the first time in highly controversial circumstances at the 2021 season finale in Abu Dhabi, with Hamilton suffering the longest winless run of his career before returning to the top step of the podium after 945 days at Silverstone this year. Speaking to media including we after Sunday's race in Mexico, Hamilton conceded that he had not yet seen the clashes between Verstappen and Norris on lap 10. Yet he claimed that he instinctively knew it must have been Verstappen involved when he saw a cloud of dust ahead on track. Put to him that Verstappen's second incident with Norris was similar to his incident with the Red Bull man at Brazil 2021, Hamilton replied, I've not seen it. I could see a group of cars ahead and I saw a plume of smoke, of dust. Bursting into laughter, Hamilton then added, and I knew it was him. I knew it must have been him. I was, like, for sure, that's him. Hamilton has long been a vocal critic of Verstappen's behavior on track, commenting in the aftermath of their battle at the 2021 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix that the Red Bull driver is over the limit, for sure. He said in Jeddah, I have raced a lot of drivers in my 28 years of racing, I have come across a lot of characters. There's a few that are over the limit, the rules don't apply. He's over the limit for sure. I have avoided collision on so many occasions with the guy. I don't mind being the one who does that because you get to live another day. Verstappen found his racing conduct under the microscope entering the Mexican Grand Prix after Norris was hit with a five-second penalty for overtaking the Red Bull driver off the circuit in the closing laps of the previous race in the United States. McLaren saw an appeal against Norris's penalty rejected on Friday in Mexico. Speaking to media including we on Thursday at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez, before McLaren's appeal against Norris's penalty was lodged, 
Hamilton accused Fedstarpen of exploiting a grey area in F1's racing rules over the years. F1 so-called racing guidelines are expected to revised, with governing body the FIA expected to present tweaks influenced by the United States GP incidents to the drivers at next month's Qatar Grand Prix. Hamilton said, it's always been a grey area. That's why he's got away with it for so long. They probably need to make some adjustments, for sure. Also, we do have inconsistencies weekend in, weekend out, obviously, depending on which stewards are there. And as a sport, we do need to level up on all areas. We look at other global sports, they have full-time refs, for example, and I'm sure that wouldn't be a bad thing for our sport. I experienced it many times with Max and you shouldn't be able to just launch the car up the inside over your head and then go off and still hold your position. FIA dish out penalty points to Max Verstappen in firm Mexico GP verdict. Hit with two 10-second penalties at the Mexican Grand Prix, Max Verstappen is also halfway towards a one-race ban as the stewards later gave him two penalty points as well. On a second successive contentious Sunday, Fedstarpen and Lando Norris fought wheel to wheel, and this time it was the Red Bull driver who found himself in hot water with the race stewards. Max Fedstarpen penalized for two lap 10 incidents the reigning world champion was hit with not one, but two, 10 second penalties for two incidents on lap 10 with Norris as he was found guilty of forcing the McLaren driver off the track at turn 4 before deliberately running wide a few corners later to stay ahead. He was penalized for leaving the track and gaining an advantage, the 20 sanctions dropped Fedstarpen out of the points when he served it at his pit stop before he recovered to finish 6th. But with Norris P2 on the day, Fedstarpen's lead in the driver's standings was cut to 47 points. Adding to his misery, the stewards later slapped him with two penalty points for breaching Appendix L, Chapter 4, Article 2B of the International Sporting Code. Their ruling read, Norris was attempting to overtake on the outside of Fevstarpen at Turn 4. Norris was ahead of Fevstarpen at the entry, apex and towards the exit of the turn when he started being forced off the track. The stewards believed that the manoeuvre was done in a safe and controlled manner and that Norris would have been able to make the manoeuvre on the track had he not been forced off the track by Fechstarpen. Norris cut the corner but immediately gave the position he gained as a result back to signs. Fedstarpen wasn't the only driver to earn penalty points on Sunday as Franco Colapinto was hit with his first two in Formula One. The Williams driver clashed with fellow replacement driver Liam Lawson at the exit of Turn 2 with the stewards deeming Cola Pinto responsible. Cola Pinto was attempting to overtake on the outside of Lawson at Turn 1. He was not quite fully alongside at the apex and through the exit and was thus not entitled to racing room at the exit, read the verdict. Lawson defended aggressively through to the exit of Turn 1 but stayed on the track and left just enough room for Cola Pinto to remain on track from the exit of Turn 1 through to Turn 2, although ultimately Cola Pinto did leave the track. Both cars were on a compromised line approaching Turn 2, Cola Pinto more so. Lawson gave Cola Pinto room at the apex of Turn 2. Cola Pinto stayed on power which ultimately forced him wide at the exit of turn 2 and caused him to collide with Lawson's front wing. While the stewards consider most of this sequence to be fair racing, the fact that Cola Pinto forced the issue when he was not able to complete the pass through either corner meant that he was predominantly at fault for the collision. Unless Cola Pinto has a nightmare time in his final five races with Williams, his two penalty points are unlikely to bother him as they expire after 12 months and he does not have a race seat for next season. He is, however, being linked to a potential seat at VCARB should Lawson, the driver he punted on Sunday, 
Replace Sergio Perez at Red Bull.